What is up, my friend? Welcome to the free email marketing training series for beginners or free email marketing course, whatever you want to call it. Welcome officially to day number four, numero cuatro. Welcome. Good to have you here. Now, please, if you have not already, uh, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. And also, if you have any questions throughout this free email training series, if you have any questions at all, please make sure you're dropping that in the comments down below so I have the opportunity to help you out and make sure all of your questions get answered because you never know. Uh, I also learn, in case you haven't figured it out, I also learn by teaching you. So as an example, as we've gone through this process, this was originally going to be like a three-day training series and it's turning out to be so far uh, to be a five-day uh, training series. And it might even be longer. Who knows? It might we might, as I go through today and tomorrow, might end up figuring out more content that I need to put in here. Now, what I want you to do is make sure that you, number one, like this video, hit that subscribe button, drop any questions or comments that you have down below. Also, this is very, very important. Right down below this video is a link. If you're, if you're coming in halfway through, if you have not gone through from the beginning, then you're missing out on a lot of information. So if you're catching this now on day number four, which is, uh, you know, day number three is uploading right now as we're talking. But if you're here on day number four and you have not gone back, hit the link down below this video. You're going to go back to the very beginning. Start on the very first video. Watch that first. Understand the concepts and everything that we're going to share throughout this entire free email marketing course here and make sure that you get that. Then go watch day number one. Do what's in day number one then watch video number two do what's in day number two don't binge watch this like a netflix series just kind of skip all that so make sure that you apply please apply what you're learning in these videos or else you're really just kind of wasting your time and this isn't like the shiny object thing where you just need to watch all the videos and check the box and say that you did it i want you to get value from this and actually apply what you're learning so we're going to talk about i'm going to try and do my best to keep this uh, as short and sweet as possible. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to talk about two specific things in today, day number four. And one is, which I mentioned in the last video, day number three, we mentioned setting up an email template, just like you're going to go ahead and set up your links. You know, like I referenced when setting up your emails, writing your emails, having your links handy right in front of you is going to be really easy rather than logging into your system or affiliate offer or network marketing, whatever, and going to grab your link there, have them on a document so it's clean and quick and easy, ready to go. Same thing with your email template. You don't have to start from scratch every single time. So we're gonna bounce over to our GetResponse account, okay? Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna click on email marketing, okay? Click on email marketing. And then from there, you're gonna click right here where it says my templates, all right? So as you can see, I have two templates already in here. Now, one is with a uh, what's called like a like a branded, call it a cover photo, call it, um, I don't even know, um, a banner. It has a banner. So I'll show you that. Uh, this is one that has a banner in it. And you can do one with a banner if you're not. You don't have to. Um, I like to do certain styles of emails with a with a banner in it and other styles without. Now, my personal style is literally just like, a. it just looks like a regular email. Like as if you were going to get an email from, you know, like your brother or your cousin or your mom or someone, you're going to get an email from like a family member. That's literally just what it looks like with the exception of it has some of the professional information down here, which by the way, you can't get rid of that stuff. That stuff has to be there. So it's just going to be there. But what we want to do is we want to set up uh, this stuff here. The hey, you're basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up this your hey, your intro, your outro, and then any PS, any photos or anything else in there you, that you want to put in there. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit create template, and you can call this uh, demo, uh, you call it, make it specific to your list, right? Demo uh, email template. Okay, demo email template. We're going to hit next. Then we're going to come here. And what I like to do is I like to go to blank. You can use an existing email template if you want. There's a ton to choose from. I like to keep, and this is my thing, you can do whatever you want. I like to keep it really 
clean, simple, and easy. So I go to blank templates. Okay. And then you can see the different formats, how these are gridded out down here. You get two boxes, three boxes. I just like the standard, you know, you can go with this one. If you want to use a photo, you could select this one. If you don't want to use a photo, you could select this one right here. Okay. We're going to go to this one right here. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you uh, literally what you can do. If, I mean, you can add a photo. If you wanted to add a photo in there, you could literally just click and drag and add an image right then there. But personally for me, I don't, I don't want an image in there. So you can do whatever you want. But first thing we're going to do is we're just going to grab some text. We want some text right here. Okay. Start with some text. And it's going to be real simple. Now you might be wondering, hey, what's up with this logo up here? All right. So in order to get this logo box out of here, you can see this little toggle switch where it says view online. You're just going to untoggle that or it says view logo, show logo. You're just going to untoggle that. So then literally all you have is just your text. That is it. So now it's going to be a very simple, very clean. It's just going to look like a normal email from your friend. And that's what we want to do here. Like I said, if you want to uh, if you want to use one of these, you want to add an Im image in there, you can. We're just going to go with some simple, clean text. So I like to go, hey, now, first and foremost, what I like to do is I like to use a 20 size font and I like to use Verdana. I don't even know that's how you say it, but Verdana, Verdana, that's what I like to use. So we're going to go, hey, I like to put their email in there. You can do whatever you want to do. You can say, hey, uh, your name, hey, Daniel here. Okay. Or you can put, Hey, email, Hey name, or I'll show you how, what you can do if you want to use their name, if your form or whatever it is, uses a name, I'll show you the fastest way to do that in a second here. So, Hey, uh, we're just going to put text here. Um, a little tagline at the end to your massive success. And then I put my initials, uh, where are we? Boom. DK. That's it. That, I mean, so stupid, simple and easy, right? But now every time we go to write an email, we're just using a template. We're not starting from scratch. Now what you can do is if you will hear, if you wanna put an email in there, what you do is the code to start it is the two little, those two little lines right there. As soon as you hit that, it's gonna give you, what do you wanna add in there? Do you wanna use their email? Okay, do you wanna use that? Or do you wanna use uh, their name? See right here, it says first name. You can put that in there. Uh, you could just, you cannot use anything. You just say, hey, you can do whatever you want. Um, so, oops, as an example, let me go fix that. My bad. So now let me delete that out of there. Let's see what else we can do. Um, hey, we have email, we have first name, uh, whatever. <clears throat> so we're just, we're, we're going to go with email. I'm going to set it up the same way that I do mine. Now, keep in mind, if you tap on this, Notice the font changed when it, anytime it auto puts in, you know, if you're, if you're trying to pull and you're typing it in there, it's going to, it's going to automatically change the font size for whatever re weird reason. I don't know why get response does this. It doesn't keep it the same font size that you have everything else. So you're going to want to select all and then just make sure that you get the font size all the same and you use all the same style of font. And then there you go. Now I'm going to throw a little hint out there. One of the things that I love to do when I'm sending out emails. And again, if you're on my email list, which by the way, if you're not on my email list for whatever strange reason, uh, right down below this video, you'll see a link and it'll say something about uh, probably my primary business or how I get uh, X amount of sales per day or something along those lines. You'll see my link to get on my capture page, go through the capture page, get on my email list. You're gonna be able to see how I email, the type of stuff that I email. But one of the things that I love to do is, and I'm just showing you this, this doesn't really have to do with the template, I'm just showing you this, but when it comes to some of the features that you can do with your autoresponder, especially knowing where people are from, and this is done on the back end, the you know get response and active and Aweber and all those, they use the IP address to know where you are. So if you can do something like this, I, I like to go. P.S. Hey, if you are, if you're still in, and then there's something that I like to use called geo region, geo region. So in other words. We're gonna select this geo region and you can see how the font size changes. We'll fix that. If you're still in geo region, you may want to click here and discover this fun little tool 
app, whatever you want to do. So we're going to change that font size again. And I'm just showing you this like this. This is just a little tip. I'm not going to leave this in the template itself. I'm just showing you this for, for knowledge here. So, hey, and geo region. So what this is going to look like, I'll see if I can pull up an email that I actually use this in. Um, re, oh, yeah, here you go. So this is exactly what it would look like. So I did this in this specific email right here. Okay. So see how it says like this super system has been helping more and more students in Massachusetts right there. Okay. Right there where that Massachusetts is. I didn't type the state in, I didn't type in Massachusetts specifically. What I used was what's called geo region. That's what this is. So especially when, I mean, when you're doing stuff like affiliate network marketing, stuff that's you know like make money online type of niche when you can add in that so it says hey if you're still in so they might be saying like how do they know i was in massachusetts how do they know i was in california you know if you're still in geo region you may want to click here check this out do this insert call to action there so it's just a cool little cool little nugget cool little tip for you right there all right so i'm going to delete this out and then there you go there's your template and we're just going to hit save and and that's it save and exit that's it now the template is set up so when we go to write an email so as an example if we're going to go to a uh, good old email marketing we're going to hit create newsletter and you're going to select your domain just like you normally would select your do domain email again we'll title this we'll get into this in, in other in another video by the way um just calling that test but right here when you go to actually write your email it says design message you can click on that click on my templates and then boom see right down here what says demo email template we pull that up okay it opens that up and then literally text here i just start typing hey thanks for being awesome click here and that's it and then you just hit next you see how see how quick and easy it is to write an email when when this stuff is set up for you ahead of time okay so that's that that is literally um setting up an email template really simple really straightforward all right now what we're going to do is i mentioned to you in day number three the other video okay about keeping a clean list now i want to show you two different ways so we're going to we're going to transition now we're going to turn i'm going to show you guys two different ways that you could start keeping your list clean now there's different theories and thoughts on this but here's what i like to do and this is how I'm able to get such good open rates. What I like to do is I like to wait a specific amount of time. If someone doesn't take action in that specific amount of time, I basically just remove them from my list. I delete them. I get rid of them because there's no sense keeping subscribers on your list if they're not going to open your emails, right? That also greatly helps with your deliverability. So if you're sending, if you're just emailing everybody on your list, and let's say you have a thousand subscribers, but of those thousand subscribers, let's say only a thousand of them actually open emails and the other 900 are just dead weight. Well, guess what? When you send those thousand subscribers out and they hit Gmail and Yahoo and AOL, those email service providers are going to know how many engaged subscribers you have. And the less amount of engaged subscribers you have, the more likely, even though you have an SPF record, even though you have a DKIM record, even though you have a verified domain, if your list, if the quality of your list sucks, you may end up in promo folder. You may end up in spam. And this is where list hygiene, keeping a clean list really comes into play. So let me show you two different ways that you could take a look at this. So we're gonna go over here to contacts. So first thing you could do is you could do this. And I would do this, this is the manual way to do it. I'm gonna show you the manual way first. So let's say you're gonna click on your, and I'll use, I'll use an engaged list here. So we won't use the demo list. We'll use a, a list that I actually have that has subscribers on it. And I'll show you the process. So we'll look at imports and I'm constantly uploading CSV files and importing people in here. So what we're gonna do is, and you'll see exactly what this will look like. So you see right now I have 25,000 people on this list, but, not all 25,000, okay? Not all 25,000 are engaged. Not all 25,000 are opening emails. A good amount of them are, but not all of them. So what you're gonna do 
is you're going to click into your list and then you're going to add a condition okay and this is how you manually remove dead weight and you can do this you know some people say 30 60 90 days i actually would do it sooner than that i like to keep subscribers you know and this is where it works for imports because i i know that if i imported people and you can do the same thing if you imported people four or five days ago and i send out a three-day email sequence so hypothetically if i send out a three-day email sequence around day five or six that gives them plenty of time to open an email so if they don't as an example if they don't open an email any of the three emails that they get sent if they don't and i'll show you what that looks like if they don't open any of the emails then i just delete them like why hang on to them if they're never going to open email some some emailers some email marketers will say well you know i'll move them from one bucket to another i'll send them a drip campaign over the course of 30 days like why you know if you sent them three emails and in six days they never opened a single email why would you hang on to that person you know why with the with the rare one percent possibility that they're going to open the email like who cares there's billions of people on this planet just go find more leads that's it okay so what we're going to do is you're going to go to the list and then you're going to go to tags and then you're going to go tag isn't assigned meaning they did not open the email because remember the other automation that we set up okay so i'll show you here so what we're going to do remember this other automation over here okay the list openers when they go through and they open any of your emails it's going to assign the opens tag so what we're going to do is any time the, the tag is not assigned demo opens and you hit apply actually for this it's not going to say anything so let me show you uh dk opens is the tag that i use dk opens is my my main tag that i'm using with a specific automation so to show you see the count right here where it says twenty five thousand. that's the total count on this list now when i go and i hit apply so this is everybody on this list so about half so of the twenty five thousand, about half of them twelve thousand one eighty six, have not ever opened an email so as an example if i come down here and you can see uh, today's the ninth so i don't know if i'm going to delete them just yet because uh today's the ninth this is recorded on the june 9th so if you look at they were all imported on the sixth so that means in the last really three days three plus days i've sent out three emails and i'll, I'll click on a couple of these so you can see message sent message sent message sent no opens haven't hasn't opened a single single email so same thing with this person here message sent no opened but you get the idea so none of these twelve thousand people have opened an email in the last three days so it means they're it's dead weight that's twelve thousand people of dead weight now imagine if you send out if i sent out an email to those twenty five thousand people and half of that list is dead weight that's not going to be good for gmail or yahoo or aol or hotmail or any of those you want to be sending emails to people that are engaged in opening your emails so what you can do from here is right over on the right hand side you're gonna see these three little dots it's three little dots again this is the manual way to do it okay so you see those three little dots and what you're going to do is real simple hit those three little dots and then hit delete from list and that's it and then they're gone and then when you go to email this list all right i'll show you in the emailing the segment part anyway okay so you're just going to delete them you're going to remove them if they're not opening emails but you're going to want to obviously wait a specific amount of time now let's go look at the automated way to do that so hey in your automation where you set up your tags okay so that was one that was the manual way to do it now i'm going to show you the automated way to do it so in the automation that you set up where you add the tag when they do open when they do open an email you're going to set that up it's going to add the tag now so here is the automated way to do this so what we're going to do is we're going to put wait okay boom just like that now the question is how long do you want to wait i would wait at least i'd go three it depends on how many emails you have in here too so keep that in mind but what you're going to do is i would wait let's just call it five days we're going to give them five days to open an email you can make it three days you can make it one day you can make it whatever you want okay and we can drag two different points down to here just like that okay we're going to wait five days then now what we're going to do is we're going to add another element 
this is the automated way to do this. So if you don't want to have to go in and manually do it, you can do it in an automated way. So remove contact from list, current list and workflow. We are going to hit run multiple times because that's what I was told by support. You want to hit that. And then we're going to do that. So that's what that looks like. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Pretty simple. When they open an email, boom, adds them in over here. If they don't open an email, okay, it's going to wait five days. Then, okay, then what it's going to do, specifically these two emails. So the email is going to go out. It's going to wait five days. If they don't open an email, either of the follow-up emails after five days, it's going to remove them. Okay. So it's going to keep your list nice and clean. So fresh, so clean. So hope that makes sense. All right. I hope that makes sense. And that is a great and easy way to do it. So that is it for today, my friends. That is it for day number four. Hopefully this is uh, you know, semi short and sweet. We're going to move on to day number five. Now, please do me a favor. If you have not already hit that subscribe button down below, I appreciate you watching the video up to this point. Hope you got value. Please do me a favor, drop a note, like this video. If you got a takeaway, if you got a nugget, you got some value from this video, pop a comment down below. Let me know, number one, what type of value that you got from the video. Number two, if you have any questions, if there is something that I covered that didn't make sense, whatever it was, comment that down below. Comments and likes and subscribes really help the channel. And I appreciate that from you. So please go ahead and do that now and make sure you apply what you learned in this video. So go set up your email template if you don't have that set up already and make sure that you have and know and understand how to keep your list clean with either the manual way of doing it or the automations. And if you have not activated your Get Response account yet, those links are down below. Plus, I also, by the way, have some other information down below. If you want to see um, you know, my other main primary business, like what I do, if you're just checking me out for the first time, you're just checking out this email marketing free training series, and you want to say like, who is this Daniel guy? What's he all about? What's he do? More of those links are down below if you want to check out that information. But as always, I would appreciate uh, a subscriber. A sus <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, consider uh, subscribing if you would. See, you know, not every YouTube video is perfect, man. Sometimes you just run with it and you go over that. Now, day number five, we're going to bring it all together. We're going to go over some really awesome stuff. And uh, that is going to be action packed. So go apply what you learned here in day number four. We will see you in the next video, my friend. Take care, and I will see you then. Later.